In this example, we begin with 300 mLs of water and 0.46 grams of nitric acid. We want to find our pH of our solution. So we basically begin with pure water, which has a pH of 7, and we add an acid, a Bronsted Lowry acid, which will basically dissociate into H plus and the base. That means the concentration of our H ions within our solution will increase, so our pH should decrease. Let's see what we get exactly. So, we want to use the formula for pH, but before we use that formula, we have to find the molarity of our solution. And the way we find molarity is first we want to find the molecular weight of our solute, and then we want to find the moles of our solute, and finally we find the kilograms of solvent. We divide moles of solute by kilograms of solvent, we get molarity, plug that into our uh, pH formula, and we find our result. So, let's begin. Molecular weight of our nitric acid is simply calculated by adding up the atomic weights of each respective uh, atom. So, 1 gram per mole for H, plus 14 grams per mole for N, plus 3 times, because we have a, a subscript of 3, 16 grams per mole for O, gives you a molecular weight of 63 grams per mole for nitric acid. Now, to find the moles of nitric acid, we take our grams of nitric acid, divide that by our molecular weight, grams cancel, moles goes on top, and we get 0 0.0073 moles of nitric acid. So finally, we have to find the kilograms of solvent. To find the kilograms of solvent, we take our density of water and multiply it by the volume of water. So our density of water, we can look that up, and that's one gram per ml, times the amount in volume of water, 300 mLs, mLs cancel, we get 300 grams of water. Now we need kilograms. To find kilograms, we we'll simply take this, divided by a thousand, we get 0.3 kilograms. Now to find molarity, we simply take our moles of solute, divide that by kilograms of solvent, and we get 0 0.0243 molar. So that's our molarity. And finally, we use our pH formula, which basically states pH equals negative log 10 of 0 0.0243, our molarity. Plug that into our calculator, and we get 1.61. So clearly, it went from a pH of 7, a neutral, to a very low pH, 1.61. And this means it's a very acidic solution. And that's because this is a very strong Bronsted-Lowry acid.